So welcome back guys to the uh, final part for the scrolling platformer. So today, instead of wasting time on um, scrolling around and showing you guys the code, if you feel like you missed anything, you may check out my Scratch account and uh, you can look at the code. I will share the, I already, I already share this project when I'm done. I actually already have a shared project for the scrolling platformer, so you can just check that out. So before uh, we get onto anything new, we have to fix some bugs. So I noticed that um, uh, before you click the play button, um, the timer is already running. So as you can see, I play it. I'll just wait like five seconds. I click play. It's already running. See, as you can see, the timer is already at like eight seconds, even though I just clicked the play button. So to fix that, um, in the beginning, it's start game. We want to set the timer to zero and then reset the timer. Set timer to zero and reset timer. So where's reset? Oh, there it is. Okay. And instead of just um, doing a bunch of random variable setting right here, we will hide all the variables inside the UN sprite. Let's... Uh, hide the variable timer here. I wanted to hide the variable timer in the beginning. And as you can see, when you play it now, you want to wait like five seconds. The timer just started running, as you can see. So now we fixed that bug, we can move on to uh, something new. So we were thinking of making bounce pads. So we have a bounce pad where if you like touch it, you'll jump really high. So let me just drag the uh, bounce pad from my uh, backpack. So I already have like all this code in it. So um, remember, you have to use the M, the M thing to find out where you want to put the um, trampoline. So you can just play a level, uh, find where you want to put the trampoline, maybe like right here. Click M, and then uh, you uh, and then you position it wherever you want. So um, we. This this is all the same code from like the saw. So as you can see, I have all the same code from the saw except just the different positions. We we'll just need to add some extra code to this. So for the tick, let's get an if then statement. If it's touching the player, then we can broadcast a message. Player, where is the player? Oh, broadcast a message called bounce. Bounce. Make it capital. Bounce. And then for bounce, when I receive bounce on the trampoline, then we can repeat 16 times. I'm doing repeat 16 times. Um, since I have eight costumes, I just want to do uh, 16 so it repeats the whole loop twice of the trampoline costumes. So um, it may be different for you. So when I receive bounce, repeat 16 times, next costume, wait 0 0.1 seconds. And right under that, we want to add a switch costume back to the costume one, because sometimes um, instead, inst when you're on the bounce pad, it might, it might end in another costume. So we want it to always switch back to the first costume by default. So now we have the bounce pad, I'm going to play the game. Oh, actually, no, we can't play the game yet. We still have to add uh, some bounce pad code for the player, which is fairly simple. When I receive bounce, then you want to set the SY to 30. SY to 30. So it's higher than uh, the regular jump height. The regular jump height is only 16. This is 30. And then we want to uh, change player Y by the SY, which is 30 by the SY. So now I will play it. Play it. I, already have, I already have the bounce pass position, but if you want to do it, then you press M, remember how to take it. So as you can see, now you can jump up. Now you can jump super high. Now you can see. It's pretty nice to add these bounce pads to make your game look much better. So now, we can work on the rock head. So I have the rock head right here. So 
same with the saw. All this code is similar to the saw, except for this part um, and this part. So we have all of that same stuff. And I just did the M thing. Use the M and place where I want the clones. I only put the uh, rock head on level 3 and level 5, but you can put it anywhere you want. So what the rock head's supposed to do is it's supposed to um, crush, it's supposed to like move down and crush the player that if it gets too close to it. So first you want to go to the player. So let's go to the um, play game when I receive play game. We need to make a new variable. We can name it act, oh yeah, all caps, activate rock trap, activate rock trap. Set it for all sprites. Remember, all the capital letters ones are for all sprites only. And then we'll need to add another one. Also, all caps, because it's for all uh, uh, all sprites. Call it death. Deaths. So this is supposed to count how many deaths you've taken in the game. So in the beginning, at top, we want to set the rock trap, activate rock trap to no. So what it's supposed to do is um, when... It's when it's getting near the rock trap, the rock trap will come down, else it will not come down. So it only activates when you're near it. And then down here, in the here, so in the else area, you want to add set rock trap to no. If it's a win, then player win, else you want to set the rock trap, activate rock trap to end. And then we can change the deaths by one when you die, as you can see deaths by one and then down here in the tick custom block the tick script you want to add an if then statement if the rock trap is equal to n activate rock trap is equal to n activate rock trap then we want to if the level so what I did right here is, if it gets near it, then um, it will activate, else it will not. So, if the level is equal to 3, I only put them on two levels, remember? So, if the level is equal to 3, and the player X position is greater than the 590. So, I used the M thing to find out where the rock trap was. Then, I moved it back a little bit so to tell when it activates. So just use the M thing to um, find where you want to put the rock head. Just move it to the left a little bit. So I just so the rock trap initially was 660 at the X position. So instead I put at 590, it will activate the rock trap. And if this is true, then we will set the activate rock trap to Y, which means yes. And I'm just going to duplicate this for level 5. Instead of 590, I did 170. So I, and again, I did the mouse thing. Press the M button, and um, I got that. Uh, so I just position it like that. And then set activate rock trap to Y. If the X is greater than 170. So now... Let's, uh, finally we have to add one last part of code for the player win. We need to, uh, set the rock trap, activate rock trap to end right here. If the player won. And now let's play it. So I can set the level to like level three. So, um, instead of setting a level up here, I want to set it in the, um, in the background. So, I'm going to set it in the background real quick. So, instead, I'm going to take this out. And I'll set it in the background. Um, so, set it up here. Set level. So, I'm going to set it to three for now so I can show you the rock trap. Let's play it again. Get these fruits. Oh yeah, and 
Never mind. We already did the clone because I forgot that um, I got the code from. Um, I already had the code. So as you can see, when you get near it. Oh yeah, and I forgot one last bit of code. So for the rock head, I forgot to make it uh, come down. So when I start as a clone, so you want to get it when I start as a clone. When I start as a clone forever, you want a next costume. So and for this rock head, I actually had costumes for it, if you couldn't tell. Oops. So it, it like, I guess, blinks. It looks like it's blinking. Like that. Um, so next costume, we want to wait one second. And if the activate rock trap is equal to yes or why, if activate rock, let me zoom in, rock trap is equal to y, activate rock trap, then we want to change the y, change the y by negative 90. So it'll go down by 90. And then we can wait like a pick random two to five seconds for it to come down or go up again. Wait two to five seconds. You can do any pick random, but I did two to five. So it's a bit easier. So it's not too hard. Then we can change the Y by 90 again. So it'll go back up. So now if we try it, it should work. So I started at level three. See, so before you get to the rock trap, as you can see, it's not activating. It only activates when you get near it. So let's get near it. As you can see, when you get near it, it starts activating. But when you're not near it, then it will not activate. And one last thing, I want to set that fruit right there to the better place because it's hard to get the fruit because it's up here and the rock trap is coming down. In the rock trap, one last thing, it only activates once when you get near it, and then after that, it'll start activating. So we did that, it only activates once per level. So for the fruit in the, um, in one of the, uh, in one of the places, we wanna change it, as you can see, when I play it. Um, this fruit, is hard to get, as you can see right here. So I'm just gonna move it down here, press N. Let's see, what is that? Six, I'll just round it, 675, and the Y position is 10. So let's go to the fruits. It's the fourth one, I think. One, two, 675. And then we can set it to 10. So now let's play it, see if it's easier to get the fruit. And yes, it is much easier to get it. Now when we get near it, crush. But now you can get it easier. Okay. So I actually added some more levels in my um, new one, in my new, new game. So let's work on the Finally, let's go to the thumbnail. Uh, let's add some code for that. When I receive start game, we'll show our variables here. Receive start game. Start game, then we want to show our variables. Show variable level. Show level level. Show variable timer and show variable deaths. Timer and show variable deaths. Okay, and then for here we also, since we have an extra variable, we also want to hide the variable deaths up here. And next we want to go back to the UN and hide the variable deaths as well, right here. Hide the variable death. So deaths right here. So yeah, that's pretty much the game. Set it to one. I'm going to play the whole thing one time. Just to show you guys, I'm gonna select the green skin. Oh yeah, and we have to set the deaths in the beginning to zero. 
when flat click do you want to set depths to zero let's make it bigger so now I'll show you the whole game oops so so I'm only actually gonna play a little bit of it because we're low on time I'm just gonna play and show you the trampoline and rockhead area so the trampoline So we finish level two and then level three with the rock head. Oops. So we have another trampoline right here, as you can see. So the rock head comes down, weights pick random, and yeah. So that's it. Oh yeah, and it's not dying yet because we have not added the code. So the death part is the same as the saw, so I can actually just copy it, that part, this part. Duplicate that to the rock head. Put that down here. Same thing as the saw. So I will set the level to level three to show you guys it can die now. Let's go to level three, play it. So I'm gonna go to the rock head. Oh my god, it's so windy right now. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry for the lag, it's just seeing that when you touch the rocket, you'll die. So that's it for today's video, the last episode for the scrolling platformer. I hope you guys like learning how to make this game. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.